Hey everyone, just want to welcome you guys out to another installment of the Panerai Central video review series. Uh, today we have the Panerai Pan 570 1940s Radomir GMT in Oro Rosso or Red Gold. Uh, when I posted pictures of this um, a few times on our Instagram account, uh, people have asked me if this is the same as Rose Gold. Um, actually, it isn't. It's a slight variation, um, in essence, basically, uh, to create the different colors uh, with the gold. They just mix the uh, gold with different alloys. In this case, it would be copper um, to create the different hues and colors. So with this particular one, which is known as red gold, you have about 75% uh, 18 karat gold and 25% copper, while rose gold is going to be 75% gold and 22.5% copper, uh, the rest filled in with silver. So it's a very uh, subtle difference, but it is noticeable when you put them together. Um, but this one does have a bit uh, more red hue to it. Um, the 570, as uh, previously mentioned, is a 1940s uh, Radomir. Uh, this is a 47 millimeter case. Uh, one of the things that drew me to this watch um, and is one of my favorite things is the, the sunburst dial that Panerai likes to call, or sunbrush dial. Um, they also call it Satin Soleil. Um, the first one I ever fell in love with was the blue version of this on, on certain models like the 598 and other boutique editions. But uh, it's kind of hard to see um, at the moment. But let me go ahead and shine some light on it uh, so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. But if I can get this light just right, and it's much better in the sun, but you'll notice that it has a, an awesome um, metallic uh, finish to it. Um, you can see it kind of moving around right there. Um, definitely one of those things that's kind of hard to capture on video, um, but definitely if it's out in the sun, it, it, it'll pop like crazy. Um, along with, with that amazing brown dial, they uh, did go ahead and use uh, gold hands on this, which is a beautiful um, com uh, combination at the end of the day. Um, you do have the date functionality here at the 3 o'clock position, um, the sub-seconds here on the, the 9 o'clock position, and of course the, the GMT extra hand. Um, to set the GMT, um, one of the, the features of the movement, pull it out here, um, if you come one stop out, you'll see that you'll be able to uh, change the hours quickly, um, and that helps out when you want to change the date too as well. I wish there was a quick date change, but it'll have to do. Uh, if you notice that while I'm jumping these hours, um, the sub-second is still working, so the movement is actually still going, so you won't lose any um, any time in, in essence if you get off a plane and you want to change it um, to match whatever home time but that also sets the GMT like right here will be um, the same time you go one hour two hours ahead three hours ahead um, and then at that point if you pull it out you'll see the sub second stop this is where you'd set the time and if you go ahead and move it uh, they move in unison at that point um, so that's how you do it other than this being a beautiful watch um, and it's more of a uh, what people would consider um, a dressier watch compared to the Luminors um, that are more sporty. Um, so they they definitely uh, it keeps a, a very thin profile but if you look on the back they they really went all out uh, with this particular movement which is something you know most people say Panerai is not known for but um, this is very beautifully done in my my opinion. This is the uh, P3001 slash 10 movement. Uh, let me go ahead and get it focused. Uh, it's a skeletonized, skeletonized version of it. Um, as you can see here, there's a lot of detail work that has gone into it. Um, some pronage in the background there. Um, the different materials used to give it some uh, beautiful contrast. Uh, you'll notice the um, power reserve here, um, indicating for the 30-day power reserve that's part of this um, particular movement. Um, all in all, I think it's a step in the right direction with their newer pieces like this. Um, to cater to not only the sport watch wearers, but you know people want to have something a little bit more uh, formal and actually uh, beautiful all the way around. Um, the watch does come on a brown um, gator strap, a little bit padding on the outside that we're normally used to. Has uh, the Ecru stitching to offset, which works nicely. Um, this particular one, instead of the uh, preview buckle or a tang buckle, uh, does come on a red gold deployment um, so that in itself is is beautiful also so just all around um, a great looking watch um, definitely for someone who loves uh, more classic 
uh, gold piece. This is a limited edition, so there's only 300 of these actually made, um, and it does run 29,700 US dollars. Uh, it is available at the boutiques right now. Um, so definitely if you get a chance, go take a look. Hopefully they'll have one in stock so you can see it up close and personal, because like I said, the dial is definitely something you'd want to see uh, in person. Well, anyways, uh, hope you enjoyed the review and look forward to hearing all your comments and make sure you follow us on all our different platforms uh, at Penrise Central. Thank you.